What's up? It's Dawn Fizzle here. Back with another video. Well, we um, did some shopping. So we got a few things that we need to show you. Uh -uh. I also got some mail that we need to open up. Um, we got some deals that we need to show you. We got some new interesting things. Some stuff I found that I wasn't expecting. We love unexpected stuff. I also picked up some paint when I was at Michael's. Because I needed to do some stuff with red and green. So I got a little mini pack with some colors in it. We do need to get Mr. Captain America hung up on the wall back there. Focus. That's one from the last video. So we're going to probably rearrange the nails eventually. I need to get a new hammer and make it look nicer back there now that we're getting some more product in. Maybe get it more single file along the wall back there. Um, I'm going to try and find a better shelf to display my pops, but that's what I'm working with for now because I kind of like that shelf. And I don't really have that big of a collection, but the collection is growing. And it's going to continue to grow as long as we stay happy. And so we're probably going to have to fucking do something about the space that we're working with. Just to make it look better. Because my OCD is driving me nuts. It's uh, so miscombobulated in here. I used to have it really well organized. But I don't have enough product to really organize it. So now that we're working with some items. I guess we can indulge. Well. We'll show you some things that we got. So we went to Michael's. We went to um, GameStop. And we went to Walmart. So we found some deals. I wasn't even expecting to get pops at Walmart. But um, last time I went to Walmart, of course, we showed you that we got this Teddy Rick. I was going to unbox him so we can, we can see what's up with Teddy Rick and see what he looks like on the outside. So, I've never unboxed one, but we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. Because I just think he'd be cool to put out on the shelf outside the box. I've never actually taken a pop out of the box. This is... Oh, dropped the box. This is fun. I won't throw the boxes away. I'm a collector, so I always keep my stuff so I can repackage it if I need be. I don't really expect to sell this guy. Oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. <laughs> I've never held my own pop in my hand. Oh, he's so cool looking. I even like the little bit of a distortion to his mouth. And his little fluffy hair. All right. Let's show you this guy up close. Out of the box. He looks great. Doesn't he? I mean, okay, so what I mean by the mouth, see how his mouth is just a little 3D, like, texture to it? He's just really cool looking. Oh, he's got that new pup smell. This is our Teddy Rick. You can only find this guy, I believe, at Walmart. But, um, could be wrong. I wish I could figure out a way. I'm going to get a better system set up so I can, I can stand up my guys. I wonder if this guy comes with a stand or something. Oh, yeah, he does. I don't know. That's not a stand. Is that a stand? Yep, that's a stand. There's a little stand in there that I can stand him on. That would probably make it easier to stand him, but I got him perfectly balanced at the moment. So we'll let him stay there for a second because I need to open this guy up because we're going to put Captain America in this pop protector because what we got in the mail is going to go in the soft pop protector. Uh, Burger King burps. So let's open up this pop stacks. So nice and clean. Alright, so let's take Captain America out of 
Kendrick's standing up there pretty good. How's your guys' New Year's Eve going? I thought about doing like a New Year's Eve live at midnight, but I don't know. Probably not. I've never opened a, a soft pop stack, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. So bear with me, guys. I don't know what I, how to open this thing up. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that's, yep, that's it. I didn't want to break it, so. This is brand new. Never been out of this protector, probably. Make sure that our box is okay. Oh, that's so cool. Stanley signed. Captain America. I'm going to put our new guy in the soft protector pop, pop protector. And our Stanley signed Captain America is going in here. Oh, slide in there, boy. It's your new home for the rest of your life. And mine. Because you ain't going nowhere, baby. Mm -hmm. This is the holy grail of Funko Pops for me, so it probably doesn't get any better than this. I don't know. I mean, if I could get a Spider-Man one signed by Stan Lee with authentic stickers and certificates, that'd be the one. But for now, let's move Funko Pop Rick over here just to chill in the background for a minute. Oh, shizzles! No, I dropped him. Oh, well, he's going to have to stay over there in the corner because I'm not getting up to get him right now. He's going to chill. It's okay. He fell on, a, on the carpet, so I don't think he's a hurt for any reason. So, we'll put him up there. So, I'm going to move over this. You can't see what I'm doing down here, but I'm getting everything situated so I can show you. Fuck, why do we keep dropping shit? So I can show you guys what we got. Oh, I forgot I got that one. Okay, so let's start with Walmart, what we found at Walmart. Okay, so we got Walmart, then we'll go to Michael's, what we got at Michael's, then we'll go to what we got at GameStop, then we'll open mail. Okay, so at Walmart, I didn't even expect to get anything. I just happened to find one thing. It hasn't, isn't Funko related, but it is a cool find because I ran into a friend there. Her name's Imani, and she happened to show or tell tell me, she said, what are you doing, getting toys? I was like, no, but of course, when she said that to me, it made me think maybe I should go check out the toys. Maybe she knew there was a sale going on that I didn't know about because there was a sale on the toy aisle. And I was like, fuck, I wish I'd have known because everybody had already ripped through it all. I wish I had a little more money to want to spend, you know, but I got to pay bills. So I wasn't really expecting to buy anything there. I was just getting stuff because I haven't felt good. But I found this on sale for $11. So I thought it was a really good deal. The, all the A lot of the stuff was on sale, like clearance, like for 5 and 10 bucks, And the Marvel Legends figures were on sale for $11. So I stole, picked up a steal. For this Gwenpool here, very good deal. Nice Marvel Legends Gwenpool. We all know I'm a huge Gwenpool fan, Deadpool fan, Spider-Man fan, Marvel fan. I love me some Marvel figures, you know. And this one's actually really, really sweet. It's got four different hand options. It's got a Build-A-Figure in there for, it looks like, Marvel's Lizard, which that's cool. It's got two swords in there. She's got an extra head. She's just really cool looking too. Like her features are pretty awesome. Like she looks good. She's a, I love the Marvel Legends version of Gwenpool basically. Cause she's very comic booky, you know, looks very comic book Gwenpool. And I, I don't know if they're ever going to make a live action Gwenpool, but, um, it would be cool to see what her suit looks like if they do. So that was a cool find for 11 bucks. Good deal. Um, let's move on to Michael's. My mom got me a gift card for Christmas from Michael's and I was going to buy some paint, but I found something there that made me decide. I, I found, first of all, a pop section. I didn't know they had a pop section at Michael's. And then I also found 
a freaking Hot Wheels card. And we all know how much I love Hot Wheels. And you guys know I've been collecting the character action feature Hot Wheels. Well, I didn't even know they had this one. But at Michael's, I found a Joker DC version with the action feature. See how it says action feature? Like my Captain America and my Spider-Man and my Wolverine. This one's Joker. How cool is that, guys? And I guess they have other ones on the back here. It says for DC, they have a Batman. I will, I will be looking out for that. They have a Harley Quinn, a Superman, and a Wonder Woman, which I will. I'll be looking out for that Batman and Wonder Woman, you know. And I love Superman, too. Superman's my favorite. So I might even end up getting this whole collection if I find them. You know, I didn't even know they carried the DC ones. So this is really cool to me. This is a... Uh, this was a good find. I was very unexpected. Like, I didn't know I was going to find that. So that was cool. So also at Michael's, I would look through their pops and I didn't find anything cool. Like I, I, I found a lot of their do-it-yourself pops, but I'm not really in the mood to do it yourself right now on a pop. I'm pretty sure that would be fun creative art wise for me, but um, I'm not really interested in doing that with pops at the moment. But um, I saw um, a f shout out to Stacking Pops. Um, their, one of their recent videos, they did a glitter do-it-yourself pop with the green giant character. And that came out really beautiful and really good and detailed. And that guy is talented because we got to have some patience to make a pop look that beautiful with some glitter. So I might actually try that. I might try the glitter pop idea because that look came out really cool the way he did it. But um, yeah, check out their channel. Subscribe, like, comment, tell them Don Fizzle Mukbang sent you. Um, they're really, um, cute, small channel that deserves some love. So check them out. Stacking Pops. Um, also, uh, I watch Top Pops. He's one of my favorites too. So he's got a lot of subs, so he doesn't really need any help. But show him some love. But Stacking Pops needs some love. He's a small guy out there. Just like us small guys, we all try to support each other, you know? Anyways, moving on. This is the pop that I found at Marshall's. They only had one. I searched through every pop they had to see which one they had to find the one that I wanted. Because I knew if I was going to get any, I was going to get at least one. Because they're like really expensive at Michael's. They're like $13 plus tax. So they're close to 15 bucks a pop there. Because they're 13 and changed probably like... I, I didn't look at the tail end price because I who cares what the change is. But they were 13 something. Probably 13 50 So, if, you know... That's like, it, that's like, that's like at least a, a $15 pop, you know? So that's pretty expensive to me when you can get them at Walmart for eight or nine bucks and the same at Target, you know? So, um, I found some, I really like Power Rangers. I was a big Power Rangers fan back in the day. I found Goldar and this is the 25 years of Power Rangers collection for the pop figures. So I thought that was a cool find. Goldar. Look how cool he looks in there. Very cool pop. I, uh, I love me some Power Rangers. Okay. So uh, moving on to what we found at GameStop. GameStop, I was I, I stopped by there because I was actually looking at their new Fantastic Four figures, which I did find a Mr. Stretch, and that was the only one that they had. And the last time I was at GameStop, I saw a Miserable Woman, but I wasn't paying attention, and um, I wasn't looking for what I what I didn't know that they had the collection out. I didn't know that there was a Galactus in the collection, so that's what I went to GameStop for, looking for a Galactus, but I was unable to find one. There are a few in, around town, but I didn't want to drive as far to the stores of the ones that they said that they had at their locations. So um, I, I was almost not going to get anything at GameStop, but I come across one pop that is new that came out this year that I didn't know that they came out with. Hopefully I can um, find her partner in crime because this is a really cool pop and... This is one of my absolute favorite TV shows that I grew up watching as a kid. Yes, my brothers and sisters. It is a Xena Warrior Princess pop. Check it out, bro. I know this glare is killing me. It's pissing me off, actually. 
Check her out, boys. Doesn't she look good with her chakram? That's the little circular thing in her hand. She also has her sword, her broadsword in there. I think she looks pretty cool, actually. Xena was my favorite. I hope there's Gabrielle out there. So, because it doesn't show on the back of any. It just says Xena. So, I thought this was cool. I didn't even know they had Xena Pops. And this is one of my favorite things in the world. So, like, I could not not get this, you know. So, that was my shopping for the day. We got some... We picked up some cool pops. We picked up some cool toys. And now, moving on to what we found in the mail. Now, just buy off the top. Whoever sent this, I'm not so sure if they sent it properly. So... Let's get into this and see what they sent us. I don't know what they sent us, but I mean, I know what's supposed to be in here, but hopefully it, it survived because the way it sounds, it's kind of uh, making me worry that it might not be in the best packaging. With that being said, I'm not trying to dig too deep with this knife either, not knowing how close on top my box is or what's protecting it from being stabbed always got to open up your packages carefully people i need to get me a letter opener i used to have a xena warrior princess letter opener but i sold that years ago when i was in a crisis for financial issues <sighs> the only good thing sometimes about having a collection is to bring you out of the crisis oh okay off the bat, not so surprised or really enlightened, um, elated to see that it doesn't look very well packed. It kind of looks like they cushioned it with some um, papers on the side, so hopefully that was enough. But it didn't mess it up. Oh, baby. Looks like we are okay. It's not a pot protector. It's heavy. I like that. It's kind of heavy. It's not in a pot protector, so that's kind of a uh -uh. But at least it's in good condition, and they were able to ship it with me without it getting damaged. So even though it's not in a pot protector, it actually came very good condition. And without further ado, guys, this is the... 2017 Funko Summer Convention Exclusive Glow in the Dark Negatron, number 300 by Disney. Check them out, boys and girls. Negatron, Darkwing Duck. He's the villain from Darkwing Duck. And Darkwing Duck is one of my absolute favorite shows. I have a lot of Darkwing Duck stuff. Ooh, this is our first Darkwing Duck Pop the collection. We don't have any Darkwing Duck Pops. We used to have Darkwing Duck Pops, but we sold it back in the day when we had that financial crisis I was talking about. See here it says Funko Convention Glows in the Dark. Pretty cool piece to add to the Pop Collection. He's pretty cool, guys. I love me some dark wing duck. Let's get dangerous. All right, well, that's all I have to show you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Everything came perfectly, came in the mail perfectly. Now I can get on there and leave them some good reviews for getting my product out to me properly. Even though I'm not happy that it didn't come in a pot protector, you still managed, which is not, I mean, it didn't come in a pot protector, so luckily nobody, at, whoever took care of my package in the post office was an awesome person because they didn't kick my package around and mess it up, you know, because this could have came in a lot worse shape than it is. Because it came in very good shape. And that's why I'm putting this in the soft pot protector. So we can keep it in good shape, you know. Because this one's really, really cool to me. I was ex I was really excited to get this piece. So now I have two really cool pops to add to my collection. 
Uh, 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 uh. Um, and then we have two common pops that are pretty cool that we're going to add to the collection. Bah, bah. And then we got a couple things to hang on the wall. You know, and this is one of the first action figures besides the it figures that I've bought in a long time. Focus. Ford. Focus. Focus. And I haven't bought any Marvel Legends figures, like, ever. So this is really cool. Well, I think I once had a Spider-Man Marvel Legends figure of the newer kind. But that's it. You know. So. I'm going to try some of this teriyaki beef jerky that Mike sent me in my last package. Oh, shit. Kind of got a headache. Wow. Mmm. That's really good. I gotta do some cleaning up in here. We gotta get Teddy Rick off the floor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. As always, stay safe. And we will eat again. Actually, we didn't eat today, but we had some uh, fun opening up new toys. Maybe next time we'll open up some new toys. i got to come up with a new outro. Bye, guys.